Well, hello everybody, welcome to day 71, and today we're going to talk about fitness goals. But before we get started, let's do macros. So weighed in this morning, 93.5 kilos, which is exactly the same that I weighed at the beginning of the month. So haven't gone anywhere. But I feel better anyway, now that I've been tracking everything else. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, good sleep last night, 86, six hours, six and a half hours. So not too bad. <clears throat> I did get another run in today, which we'll talk about in a minute. But um, so did really well on my step count, 11,000, near 11 and a half and um, 10 grams of carbs today. So really, really strict on the diet and calories were OK. Um, 121 grams of fat, and 125 grams of protein. So the exercise today was 5K run. And then I walked the rest at a slower pace to get my heart rate down and um, <clears throat> just working it that way. But I just did 60 minutes on the treadmill. Speaking of the treadmill, so one of the things that I'd sort of commented on before that I said I would talk about, so I thought I'd do it today. I hate running. I hated running my whole life. I used to have to do it. When I in high school and in grade school, because I played basketball and we used to have to run the lines back and forth on the court and we used to have to go around and run around the soccer fields and all that sort of stuff. And I've always, always hated running my entire life. But a couple of years ago, when I started having weird, like heart issues, um, I was 110 kilos and so it's quite overweight. I couldn't even walk up the flight of steps in my house without being out of breath. And I just thought, man, I've got to do something or I'm going to have a heart attack and I'm not going to be around. So I did a bunch of research and essentially came up with the most efficient exercise that I could realistically do really um, that would burn the most calories was running. So I thought, OK, I'm just going to make myself run because I need to get in shape. I also need to improve my cardiovascular health and <clears throat> running seemed like the best way to do it. Whether I was right or wrong is immaterial. It's what I chose. And when I very first started out, this was in, I think, August of 2018, probably. Um, I couldn't run. I got on the treadmill, set it to like 7K. Um, per hour or something super slow like walking speed literally you could fast walk it um, but what I found is is that I couldn't even run for two minutes before I felt like I had to stop and so I did I ran two minutes until I couldn't run anymore and then I walked and I might walk for two minutes and then I ran for two minutes and then I walked for two minutes and I did that for half an hour and gradually over time I was able to work my way up where I could run a mile without stopping. And eventually I got where I could do 2K or two miles and then three miles. So I ended up doing 5K. 5K was the number that I kind of had in my head that I wanted to, to aim for. And then once I could run 5K, then I started increasing the speed. And I had a whole bunch of goals in the beginning, but I was quite unorganized. I kind of just wanted to run like five minutes without stopping, 10 minutes without stopping, 15 minutes without stopping. And it was those sorts of goals that I had in the very beginning. But what I sort of moved on to is, um, so sorry, take a step back. So eventually over a long period of time, I eventually worked my way up to, I actually ran a half marathon. And I ran the Cambridge half marathon and I ran it the Sunday before the COVID lockdowns. So it was literally the very last thing, the public event that I could go to. The lockdown started on the Monday. Um, and I was super proud of myself for, for having got that far. I never wanted to run a marathon. I still don't want to. Um, because again, I don't I don't really like running. I like the effect that running has. And I like that it 
keeps me fit. And I kind of, I do like how I feel after I run, even though it totally wrecks my voice. Um, but anyway, I'm going to skip a whole bunch of detail because this will be a really long video if I go into it all. But suffice to say, during lockdown, I was able to run outside. There's We have a country right across the way. I live in the middle of the country, basically. And um, there's a small country road. So I was able to actually run on that and kind of stay in shape. Then after a long period of time, um, I went back, was, you know, kind of training, just being normal. And then I got COVID. And once I got COVID and I had it for... 14 days, I tested positive. And then I gave it another two weeks after that. And then I was like, okay, I want to go back. This was, we could go back to the gym and stuff by this point. Um, and I was like, okay, I'm going to go back to the gym. And I sort of expected to, you know, have a little setback or whatever, but it had set me a year back in my training. And I have all the locks. I lock all my times. I lock everything, as you know, from me keeping track of all my data. And that was hugely disheartening. Hugely disheartening. Um, I mean, it, it it had such an impact on me and, and my cardio health. And that was super frustrating. So I got really hacked off for a few weeks and I didn't, I didn't run again. I tried like three times and then I didn't run again for like a month because I was just annoyed with the whole thing. And, and then I was like, okay, I just got to get back into it. I just got to kind of almost start over or it's what it felt like. It wasn't actually starting over. I could still run a 5k, but it was almost, it felt like starting over. And, um, I had to give myself a new set of goals. So what I've started to do now is I have sort of six goals that I set up at each speed that for running. And then once I complete all of those goals at that speed, then I go to the next speed. So I'll give you an example. So when I start off in the very beginning, like I've done now, um, so I run 5K, and then I do it at eight kilometers per hour. Now that's really, really super slow. That's like 37 minutes to run 5K. Um, but what I do is my goals are to run. So if you think the way I think about it is, is like if you're on a track, right? And you do it kind of in miles. Um, one lap is a quarter of a mile. So if I think I, if I do one quarter of a mile without having to stop for a second, then, and I can do the whole time that way. So for example, I'll do, I'll run a quarter of a mile, then I'll stop for like three or five seconds, and then I'll start running again. And then I'll run another quarter of a mile, and then I'll stop for three or five seconds again. And then I'll run another quarter of a mile, etc., all the way through. So I have little breaks every quarter of a mile. And once I can do that, then I go to half a mile. So my next goal is running half a mile without stopping. And then I do that through the whole thing, three quarters of a mile, one mile, one and a half mile, and then the full time. So I just keep track of those when I'm able to hit those goals. I usually don't do it on just one time. I have to do it twice in a row because on any random day, I might be feeling really good and I can do it, but I need to sort of prove to myself that I can do it twice. And once I do it twice, then I sort of go to the next goal. Now, once I reach that, then I increase my speed to nine kilometers per hour and I start that whole thing over again. So quarter of a mile, half a mile, so one lap, two lap, three laps, four laps, etc. cetera. Um, going through that, one and a half, et cetera, and then run the full thing. 5K, 3.1 miles. Um, but anyway, so this is this is the way I I keep doing it and then I just keep increase, increasing the speed. So then I go to 10 and then I'll go to 11 and I'll just build it up. And all that means is, is that my time is just coming down and down and down. So I also have some time-based goals as well. So I have sub 35, sub 33, sub 30, sub 27, 
which I've never hit. And I do have a sub 25 because that's where I'd like to get ultimately. So, and I do 90% of this running on a treadmill. I used to run on the road and I used to run, I used to do 5Ks and like charity runs and stuff in town. But the last time I did a charity run, that's how I totally messed up my knee. And so I've decided I don't care. I'm not even going to try to worry about running outdoors. I don't care. Um, it's much easier for me. I can set a slight incline on the treadmill, which actually is a lot easier on my knees. And I still get the cardio benefit from it. So that's how I do that. And then I'll usually try and do that. I Now I can't seem to run more than a couple of days at, in a row. So I might run two days in a row and then I'll have to take a break for a day. And then I can go back and run one or two days and then take a break for a day. So I kind of alternate that way. And I also, a lot of times on a Sunday, I'll do a slow run. So no matter, even if I'm running like regularly doing my workouts at say 10 kilometers an hour, I'll do a slow run at eight just and run it all the way through again, just to do it that slow run. And sometimes I'll even do more than 5k at that speed. I might do 7k or something. So maybe 45 minutes instead. But that's really how I do. That's how I do my running targets now. Um, so I was working through that. And then I got COVID again, um, which then set me back another year. So I'd kind of been set back a year, gained six months back. So I'd taken one step forward and then I got knocked two steps back again. And then I did the charity run thing and then my knee got injured and all this stuff sort of. And then I basically I just got hacked off with the whole thing and decided, fuck it, I'm not going to run for a while and didn't run anything over the holidays. So at the minute, I'm actually I've done the I've done the core, the first two goals in back at eight kilometers an hour. But essentially, I've had to start over. It is what it is. The good thing about it, I guess, is it gives me a whole nother set of goals to work towards. So instead of just going and saying, oh, I'm just going to run 5K or whatever, I actually have something I'm trying to accomplish while I'm there. And that gives me a little bit of something to aim for, I guess. So it makes it a little bit easier. Um, and that said, I'll do all of this. And then I'll do another half an hour on something else. Um, and I vary that. Sometimes it's the elliptical trainer. Sometimes it's in um, the e-bike, like the just the bike. Um, sometimes it's the recumbent bike, so where you're sitting with your legs out in front of you. Sometimes it's a rowing machine. Um, and I think I'm going to start doing the stair climber as well to try and just build some strength and stuff in my legs also. So I'm going to try that. And I suspect that's going to be massively knackering, but I think it'll be good. And yeah, so that's how I do my my running goals um, at the minute. And I can talk about weight training um, maybe on another day because this is quite long already. I think we're at, yeah, it's like 13 minutes already. So I think that's enough for today. But yeah, suffice to say, the diet's working. I'm feeling good. I'm still not taking any ibuprofen. Um, my legs are quite sore today, but I've run three days. Um, three days this week. So I ran on Friday. Didn't run Saturday, but ran Sunday and today. So I'll take a day off tomorrow, have a little rest, and then get back to it. But um, yeah, that's it for tonight. And um, if you've got comments or questions or anything, I'm not a running coach but I have been doing it for quite a while. And if you have any questions or anything, I'll try and help as much as I can. And otherwise, I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.